Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of cancer for love and relationship for the month of June 2021. like you need your space your time to heal from a situation you love someone like you know very dearly very much and I get here that um, you want really some space like you, know, you want before like you, know, you were rushing the other person to come back to you or to be with you or to be around you but now I get here that you need your space from that person because you need to heal, you need to look into yourself, you need to heal a situation here. Either emotionally, or it could be like, you know, maybe you start drinking and you want really to stop completely. Um, you want to like, you know, to look your best, you want to be good. And I get here, this person love you very much also, and they needed their space too. But they love you very much, and they are going to be renewing the relationship. That actual person is coming back to you coming out of it, entering your life again, or re-enter your life, and I get here the attraction is really very strong, you want really your person to care for you so much, to be in love with you, to be more committed to you, and it says here that your person have been really like, you know, just of oh, too many things, like, you know, they wanted really their time, but now they are trying to come to you, but you don't want to be really like you know, your person to come to you because they want just intimacy. You want this person like you know, to feel with you emotionally. You want to feel that love coming from them. You don't want the coldness. Like, um, you don't want your person to be in your life just like you know, for the intimacy. You want everything. Emotions, love, heart, caring. Like protecting you, defending you. You want everything to do with that person. You are more committed and you know you value your person a lot and you value the commitment and the actual really sincerity in the relationship. You, you, didn't, you, you are not feeling that the other person care like you know, emotionally about you because it's kind of like they want to be free in their emotions but maybe they want really to connect with you intimately and you felt like you know, this isn't only what I want. I want them to understand why I'm upset, why I'm happy, to share things with me, to be on my side, to be really having that strong bond. You're still in love with each other no matter what. Even the other person is not really showing you their emotions at this time, but I get here that because they were really unhappy for a long time and they wanted like, you know, just their freedom, their space. They are a free spirit. They don't like anybody to really like, you know, just choke them in a way, like you know, to tell them what to do and pressure them. They want to let go and empty a lot. So I get here, they decided like, you know, to be on their own, like, you know, for them to express themselves to you, like, you know, later. But I'm seeing that person already talking to you, already trying to come back, but you feel like, you know, no, that's not really what I want. This is how relationships start sometimes, or renew the relationships. You want to teach your person a lesson. But I get here mostly that you want it to earn the living, you want to pay the bills, you want really to take care of your home front, yourself. Money in the family is going to be really, very good. I'm really getting that money is going to be no obstacle at all. But I get here you are someone that you relied on your person to give you the money, to earn the money for you. And now you feel like you know, that I don't know if I want to establish, if my person is going to establish really a great connection with me and love me for myself and take care of me like they used to do it before. Your person under a lot of pressure, I see that, you know, but they're still holding on you so much greatly in their heart, deeply, like you know, there is a deep connection, deep, deep love. You don't see it because they don't talk about it. They don't want to keep talking about it. 
Why? Because that person like you know, have a lot really like you know just inside them that they need to empty and vent and let it go. It says here that you feel like you know that they need to you think that you know your person is listening to their family, brothers, sisters, mother, father, exes, and they don't listen to you and maybe like you know the family is influencing your person against you or maybe they have another lover. That's your feeling there. No, they don't really do that, but I get here you are feeling this way. I get here that the, your person loves you so much, but they have been really having really depression. And they want really to have the upper hand and the control. They don't feel themselves the way they were before in the past. They dealt with you for a long time also before. And that person like you know, that they want really through a lot of emotions that they kept, kept it inside. And suddenly they want really to feel themselves like you know, because they feel like you know, they are being controlled by you, even if you don't you did not do that or you don't think about it. But they feel that way. And they want to feel that they are the one in control again because they feel like you know, they are lost, they are stuck, there is something wrong. They don't really feel like every time they want to push themselves harder, they are not the same anymore like before. They want to feel themselves drained, exhausted. Unhappy, emotional. It's like they need, they don't rely on other people like you know, to help them, like you know, or to support them. They want really to be the one who's supporting themselves. Or like you can be really someone like you know who is in control of choices, and you make everything or every demand, and you are in a relationship for a long time, and that person puts you down, puts you down, puts you down. And suddenly you feel like, you know, you want to scream and yell, like, you know, you want to be really in control again because no matter what you try to do, you cannot get, get out of it. You know, I'm trying to explain how your person is feeling. They feel like, you know, they are not being themselves because I get here there was a lot of misunderstanding between you two in the past. You say things, you don't mean it, you don't mean to hurt the other person feeling, but they were hurt by you, hurt by a lot of things that you have been saying. They wanted a break. They wanted like you know, that emotions to be re-established already. The, the only problem that this person doesn't explain to you or express their feeling what you have done to them. And you feel they have done a lot bad to you. Like both of you are coming from the same angle, not realizing their, your own mistakes to each other. Because you are a victim. That's how you think. And the other person think that they are a victim. But... I get here when you stop like you really feeling like a victim and see eye to eye to things, you will know your own fault and your own good also. But the love is still there between you two. If your person needs space to express their feelings to you, let them. Do not push them to do it. After all, they choose you. You are the one. You are the one for them. They don't want anybody else. They just want to feel like you no know, in control of their emotions and feelings. They want to get themselves back, you know, emotionally, mentally, everything. That's why I get here. They change their direction and they block themselves. Fear of getting hurt by you again. And you are like, I did not hurt that person. I was really very good to them and nice and sweet and kind and there for him or her. We sometimes we say things like, you know, we don't mean it. It hurt the other person and they keep it to themselves and they keep keeping it and keeping it until they have really that anxiety or depression. Well, it's okay. Things happen. We are all human. And you keep being disappointed and worried that maybe you will never have a chance with your person. You try to change things. You are stressed out and you want things to change, but it's not changing. And you feel like you know, that you lost your person. Give them the time. To express their feeling to you. If they want to be intimate and you enjoy intimacy with this person because you are in love with them, they are in love with you too. They are not doing it because just they want to have fun. Just give it to them. And I get here that 
they will start to open up little by little. It's up to you though. Nobody can force you to do something you don't want. And I get here, this person might have really kids on their own. And they are trying to manage, like, you know, to do the right things for their kids. They have really, like, you know, that special time at this time, like, you know, to spend with their kids and recover their kids from something they lost with the other person in their life. Like, you know, from the mother or the father of that per uh, these kids. They are trying to be really, like, you know, just uh, showing their kids, like, you know, really security and love. And a nest, like, you know, that they can really trust. And I get here, give them the time. You know that, you know, you feel like, you know, okay, I will take care of the kids too. But it says here that they want really their kids to love them more, to feel like, you know, that they are, they care for them. And you feel like, you know, no, they don't care about their kids, but they do. They have different way of caring. You, you're going to be really like you know, the wife or the husband, dear Cancer. The relationship is going to work because you feel like you, know, you did a lot of effort. And that relationship is not going to go, go like you know, for waste. But I get here no rushing. Rushing is going to bring really too many mistakes and problems. Do not rush your person. You rush them, they're going to decline you. And I get here your person approach you with love to renew the relationship, which is someone from your past is coming back in the picture to make you happy, to be with you. But I get here, they want also to work on their business or work or or some of them like, you know, that the one you love, like, you know, that maybe they are not establishing, they want a new job, a new business, a new projects. And I get here, they want to succeed too. So give them that chance to. And I get here that you get your person, you are not going to go away. You are in a relationship for a very, 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 very long time. So you're not going to go away. Your person is not going away. Dear Cancer, I hope you enjoyed the reading. And if you need a private reading, please contact me. And the link for my website is below this video. My website have all the information you need to arrange a call with me, a private reading. And uh, click on reading prices after you purchase your reading. Please give me a call. And the phone number is listed on my website. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.